Hello everybody, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show a live demo of GSTSense e-invoice API integration. This API is mainly meant for companies with an in-house ERP. You can integrate your ERP directly with the e-invoicing portal using our APIs. Vendors of billing software, you can use this API to provide a great functionality to your users. And companies with turnover below 500 crores who do not have direct access to the government portals can use these APIs. The key features of GSTSense APIs are that you can get started in a few minutes. It's a developer friendly API and the response is very user friendly and we provide top quality support. Here's how you get started. Sign up at my.gstzen.in, create a new account and add a demo GST number. You can also add your real number for if you use a demo GST number, you can get started very quickly. You can obtain your API key in your profile page and you will pass this API key to authorize yourself. Here's how you make an API call. So the request method is a post method. This is the URL to generate an e-invoice. For authorization, you pass a header called token with the API key that you obtained from GSTZen. For the payload, use the e-invoice JSON as per the government schema. Let me go into a little bit more detail. Here are the URLs that we support. For generate e-invoice, cancel e-invoice, generate e-wable and cancel e-wable, these are the respective URLs. You will make a different request to these URLs. For authentication, you pass a header named token and the value will be your API key. This is the only header that you we require when you make use GSTSense APIs. And here is the payload. The payload is as per NIC's schema. We I am going to use Postman to generate the e invoice. Let me walk through the payload here. The transaction details saying that this is a regular B2B invoice. The document details contains the invoice type as invoice. The invoice number, date, the supplier, GST number and address, the buyer details and uh, so on, right? So here are all these details. Let me copy this. Uh, let me copy this and I will pay, say copy this and I'll use this directly in my demo. I'm going to Postman. Postman is a popular tool for making API calls. The first thing is to change the type to post, enter the URL in the parameters for authorization we say that it is of type api key the name of the key is token and the value this is the value you get from gst zen now let's go to the body we have a raw body of type json i'll paste the body here so this is pretty much it so you will send this exact body to gst zen at this url let me click send once I do this, you will see that the IRN is generated. There are various fields here. The key fields for the developers are IRN status saying that it is gen for generated. The EWB status saying none, that there is no EW eWable generated. There is also an acknowledgement number, acknowledgement date. There is also the signed QR code and signed invoice. The various details that we get from the government portal. You can save these details into your uh, ERP. Let me go ahead, let me quickly cancel this e-invoice. We just need to send it to a different URL called cancel. And you will see that the e-invoice is canceled. And the status says CAN for canceled. And the EWB status also says canceled. You can save this in your ERP. So this is pretty much it. This is how long it took to generate an e-invoice through the APIs. Get in touch with us. Here are our coordinates. You can reach our website at www.gstzen.in and send us an email or phone or reach us through WhatsApp as well. Thank you for watching this demo.